going to talk to you about grounding and using a spoon. Uh, first thing is, you can actually use any spoon. People sometimes say you need to be um, stainless steel, which means a magnet. But since that, people have done more research or investigative work, and it doesn't matter. So any spoon will do. And failing a spoon, a fork will also do. So assuming this is your spoon, your weapon of choice, what are we going to do? We're just going to take your foot now. Ideally, yes, barefoot, bare legs works better. If you've got socks on, that's fine too. Um, take said spoon and you're just going to run the spoon down your legs. And if you've just got time for your feet, you just do your feet. Uh, I'm going quite firm, no, no, nicely firm for my pressure. If you have very tender feet and you can't actually bear people touching you, you can actually do it, as you can see. I'm not even touching. You can come above it. Why? Because it means the air is so much trapped electrical energy here, it's actually congested. You can just do it, brush it in the, just a couple of inches above. And then you may find suddenly, surprisingly, you can actually bear somebody touching your feet. If you're somebody that can't bear people touching your feet, if you can't bear walking barefoot, then ironically, this is exactly the sort of uh, exercise that's perfect for you. But if it's too much, you just do it just above. My hand's just travelling above. And you just scoop off that energy. And when you do it, make sure you go off each toe and between each toe. Woo, makes you feel funny. Woo. And that, for me, that's quite tender. So that means I need to do it. So I'll do it gently. So why are we doing it? Well, um, ideally, the best way to do this, of course, grounding is on the open ground. But if we are in a country like England and the summer we've had, it's a bit wet and it's a bit cold. Which actually necessarily the cold, the um, sorry, the wet actually is not a bad thing because it aids conductivity, but it's not very pleasant. So let's not just go there. Just carry a spoon. Um, I suggest having one next to you in the shower and maybe right next to your bed. So that if you feel them as you come out the shower, you just zip, 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 zip all the way, all the way around. If you do the legs, you're going to really help with tired legs. You get cramps. Do it before you go to bed at night. Do it from behind the knees and have it with you. I say, take it off to the toes. Um, we are dealing with the fact that if there's too much electricity here, we can't actually suck up more. So there's a wonderful point on the sole of our foot. There's a little tiny crack there, isn't there? Just do it right there. And it's called bubbling spring, the wellspring of life. And it's the one that discharges our excess and sucks up the life force we need from the earth. So we've got quite a lot of it and is happy to share and is very happy to receive the excess that we have. Another lovely exercise is to actually think of water gushing up your leg, bubbling spring, that fresh, bubbling, joyful energy. Or maybe maybe you, it's, it's your feet going into the water of the sea and just feeling the lapping coming up. Whichever image works for you is the one that's right for you. Water has many forms, even ice. So I don't think we really want to think ice doing that, but it can be very relieving. By working here, we're hitting many different systems. Um, in reflexology and zone therapy, the ankles are well known for working with um, the, the pelvic area, especially for women and young and women, young ladies with period pain. So if you have period pains, taking your spoon and rubbing around all around your ankle, you may find surprisingly relieving. Um, if you are very, if you're a dreamer, your head's always in the clouds, and you can you can dream your future life, but you can't pay a gas bill. This is probably a good thing for you to do because it brings things down. You don't just have to use it for your hands; you can use it on your arms, anywhere where there's pain. Do you have a tennis elbow? Do you have tendonitis from too much typing? Take it from the neck down, ideally on the skin, but if you can't, it's okay. On your face, fantastic. You have tired eyes, computer, reading. You just do nice, gentle, slow. Stick the weights around the eyes, maybe put it in under cold water first. Cool it down, very relieving. Brings up blood, 
a little bit of facial massage, a bit of gua sha. It helps congestion if you've got sinuses, help the, the throat, help with sore throats. It can help the frown lines on your head by also helping congestion, so it'll help your headaches. All for one spoon. Not bad. Good luck.